Hi, my name is Brett Gordon and I wanted to do a show and tell of a project I was working on uh, for oh, a month or two now. Uh, it's a port of Fuzix to the Coco 3. Uh, this weekend I was able to get the IDE drivers working and it boots from uh, boots on a real Coco. So I will show you that. And the machine I'm using to do this is a Coco 3 uh, without its cover. Wait a minute. You won't recognize it without its cover. There, it's a Coco 3. Zada. Okay. Here we go booting Fuzix on real hardware. With a little bit of help from Drivewire. FU is Fulo, the Fuzix loader. It's loading all the normal Unity stuff. And there we go. And let's log in as root. Do a fast drive, make sure it's all mounted correctly. Okay, we got two hard drives, both maximum size doozy partitions. Uh, A5 sits on the root partition and A6 sits on the home partition. So it looks like we're in good shape. When we flip over to the vir another virtual terminal here and log in as Beretta and it should take me to my home directory. Huzzah! You can do stuff like list files! Huzzah! You can run scripts slowly. You can type on a crappy 1980s keyboard. Huzzah! And list that file. And you'll see the commands made up of that. Very good. Uptime is kind of wonky, doesn't exactly work yet. Sort of works. Doesn't put the character return where it belongs, but I don't understand that. But anyway, uh, so we got two virtual terminals. In fact, let's do a a really long list of the binary. And there we go. And it'll go on for about 12 minutes of printing out binaries. And yet we still have something going on over here. Can I play? Wumpus? Oh, Wumpus is not found. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Anyway, and not only do we have two virtual terminals on the Coco, which I can probably up to like three or four, but I'm not sure if that's that necessary. But I also have, let me show you this. Zoom over here. And at the same time, it also uses Aaron Wolf's drive wire server. If you can see that, I hope you can see that. Uh, uses a 9 server Windows uh, using DriveWire and allows you to log in from there too. So I can log in without even having a monitor or a keyboard. I can still log in and uh, work on what's going on there. You can see my init tab. Huzzah! It has actually three entries um, down at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, TTY1 is the first console. TTY2 is the second console. Those are uh, flipped with Control1 and Control2 respectively. And then I also have a Getty respawning on TTY7, which is the uh, uh, first virtual window 9 server thing that Aaron put into DriveWire. So it gives you a little bit of a primitive... Uh, console to work on even if you don't have a a really really nice 40 column screen so you might have to suffer with 80 column screen but anyway so it all works still formatting still formatting still formatting Still formatting. 
still formatting. Still formatting. Still formatting. Still formatting. Still formatting.